not acting, this is my accent. I am Vada's token American, um, which these days isn't the most popular thing to be, I, I understand. I've, I've done some theater in the States, it's been a while since I've been on stage. I did some gay musical comedies, I played a sheriff in the famous western musical that I wrote called Homo on the Range. <laughs> also played Dopey in Snow White and the Six Dykes. <laughs> Snow White was this big, like, seven-foot black drag queen. It was a great show, great show. But I was a little bit nervous when Rose asked me to do this. I, I was a little bit nervous about being funny in front of English people. Um, because I know Americans have different sense of humor than English people. We've got George W. You've got Tony. Um, you know, I, I'm very anti-Bush. Any other anti-Bush people out there? Yes! You know, it hurts me to say, as a lesbian, it really hurts me to say that I hate Bush. <laughs> um, but there's a, there's a lot of differences um, between America and, and, and England. I mean, for example, look, just the way that your government recognizes homosexual relationships. You're recognized, you can be civil partners. That's, that's amazing. In my country, when me and my partner go, we are recognized as sinners. <laughs> sinners. No, no, no kind of uh, legal thing. As a matter of fact, I, I have a, I'm just curious, how many people, are y'all having a good time tonight? You having a good time? Just yeah. raise your hand if you're really, really happy, having a great time tonight. It's not bad, okay. Now, just a show of hands, how many people are in a relationship? Okay, now I got a good one. How many people are happy in a relationship? <laughs> I knew the time, yeah, I knew it. Oh, yeah, right. Well, I, I'm, in a, I'm in a serious relationship with an Austrian woman. Like, it could be anything less than serious with an Austrian woman. <laughs> I met her in the States, um, and really, before, before her, I mean, the only thing I knew about Austria was, like, the sound of music, you know, which was played by Julie Andrews. Not much of an Austrian there. But, uh, you know, when we went out, like, on our second date, I don't know, maybe it's an American thing. We just have this thing about German accents. Is that for you guys, too? It's always, like, the Dylans and the movies. And she called me up on her second date, and she was like, what are you going to wear tonight to dinner? <laughs> I swear to God, I heard, we have ways of making you talk, you know? It just <laughs> took me a while to get used to that. But I am used to it now, and we've been together for almost seven years. Wow, seven years. You know, and there's, there's nothing that she wouldn't do for me. And there's nothing that I wouldn't do for her. We've basically been doing nothing for each other for the last few years. <laughs> now, that's not true. She, she does a lot. As a matter of fact, it's because of her that I'm in this country. She uh, has a job, and, and she has to work enough to support me. <laughs> for me. So she basically works her ass off for Reebok while I sit home and watch Big Brother all day and night. <laughs> what a show. But um, I just recently got back uh, from New York. I had to come back to be at this, this amazing Vada show here. And I went back for a reunion. You all have reunions here? And, and yeah, get that? So I was going back to New York. Now, the first thing when I was going, I was going for two weeks. And what my friends in Vada said, oh, you're going for a fortnight. I was like, how long? <laughs> yeah, if I went back to my country and I said, oh, I'm here for a fortnight, they'd be like, who the fuck do you think you are, Shakespeare? <laughs> or Madonna? <laughs> accent will come out of this, but I was, I was at the reunion, I was really excited about going. Um, I guess you get, we call it elementary school, you guys call it primary school, so I was going to see people I hadn't seen forever. Like my first girlfriend, oh shit, my first girlfriend from fourth grade. So it's been like 40 years since I've seen her. Now I just want to show you what it looked like. I don't know if you can see it in the back, if not, you can pass this word. Can y'all see this picture? Is this, can you see this in the back? Can you see this? Okay, can you figure out which one is me? I'm, I'm, the, I'm the girl in the middle, with the Beatles haircut, between the other two boys. I was sort of doing Boys Don't Cry about 30 years before the movie. So I, uh, yeah, so I had this girlfriend, and I just put on a little vest and tie, and I took her, we went on a bus, we went to the other side of, of the city where nobody would know us, because, you know, I, I didn't know about lesbians, and I thought I had to be a boy to be with a girl. And, um, you know, it was kind of a dark theater, and I was really nervous. I was nine years old, for God's sakes, you know, and I just, I knew I wanted something to happen, and I, I just, you know, put my arm around her. And that was it. I haven't seen her for years. I tried calling her mom. I tried calling her a few years back, I guess about 15 years back. And I called up, and her mom had answered the phone. I was like, I don't know if you remember me, Dick Flanagan. 
You're like, um, oh my god, of course I remember you. She was Jewish. Of course I remember you. You and Lisa, you got married on the playground. You invited the whole school. Wasn't that weird? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. So when I got to the reunion, I was really, really excited. Like I said, my first girlfriend. Now I did, I did my best drag. My best, my best drag. I don't know if you can see that. I got that black dress on, the faux pearls, high heels. Yeah, right? Right? I mean, look, before I, because I really wanted to make a point of her seeing, you know, I wasn't like, look like a lesbian. <laughs> so she was across the room. I could, I could barely see. I'm reading the name tag, so I decided I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm going to say, so I just walk over there with my best drag and high heels. <laughs> Trying to look like a real femme. And just stood there and was like, <sighs> Hi, remember me? Thank you very much.